100K management. 100K. A no way. How did that happen? Shout out to track, man. That's my big brother, man. Like, it really, like, I had got a relationship with Melly. Feel me? This was before. And then DJ Surefire, actually, you know, he, Melly's DJ, he always like, man, you need to, you need to get with track. I'm telling you, it's going to be big. Track going to be. And one day I was just like, man, I was looking for new management and they came through and shout out to Track, shout out to AA. Feel me blessed and I'm glad to be a part of the family because that's what exactly what we is. It's never like just manager, like we family. So it's like, I know they got my best interest at heart and want to see me win. Now you are using the phrase family, but you are not biologically related to anybody on 100K. Nah. Now, so how did that happen? Do you actually reach out to 100K or 100K just so coincidentally reaches out to you? Um, like how did the initial connection happen? I reached out to track. Feel me? I felt like that's what was best for me at the time. DM, email, um, I actually phone had his number. number call. And he knew of you? Yeah, we already we already had a, a relationship. We met like at Melly first video when he first came home the first time. So so you show interest in 100K, you show interest in Trax Company, and how long before the deal gets sealed, so to speak? Right away. His lawyers did the paperwork. My lawyers looked at it. I came to uh, Trax first office. We signed, took some shots, celebrated, you know, and got right to work. Now, what's that like, being managed by 100K? Great. What's that feel like? like what's that like? Like I said, like, it's not like you... It's business, but it's more so like like we we treat all as like with family, that family vibe over there, you feel me? And I, I feel like that's what make it work. Like at the end of the day, I know I could call on this man. Oh bro, I need like you feel me? So I know he got my back and that's what it be back. That's what it's all about. Like knowing that that person gonna ride for you, you get what I'm saying? When's the last time you spoke to him? Who track? Two yeah. days ago. When it comes to track most important thing you learned being around him or biggest advice he's given you thus far? Give me a lot of advice, like leave the streets alone. Like he showed me like it's money to be made in this music industry. So he's like, you know, just stay down. If you work hard, you grind for it, you can, you can get anything you want. And for time reference, it's August, 2021 now. Yeah. In addition, you just signed a recording contract Yes. To Motown. Motown. Shout out to Motown. Shout out to Ethiopia. Shout out to uh, my A and uh, Kino. Feel me? Believe in me. I rock them. Motown. That's history. Like, you know, that's where it all, you know, Gordy and all them. Michael Jackson. And, so it was like. How did that happen? Uh, Kino actually reached out to us. And, was, and it's so crazy because he's actually trying to get in contact with me like a month or two before we even got the thing done. But he couldn't, like. And they reached out and, you know, the rest is history. Now, why did you choose to sign to Motown? I just felt like the the deal that they offered, it was perfect timing. Like, after being independent so long, you know, accomplishing so much, like, now it's like, what can I do to go to that, get to that next step or get to that, next, you know, to keep building myself and keep trying to, to get over that, pla get to the next level. And I just felt like, that was the missing piece. We like it worked cohesively. You feel? Did you feel like you maxed out independently? You took yourself nah, the farthest you could go. Nah, I don't think so. It's just some things, you know. In this business, it's not what you know; it's who you know. So I feel like it was perfect timing. Are you biologically related to anybody on Motown? No. Now, what do you think attracted Kino and Motown to you initially? Was it? Your talent, was it a particular song? Was it a local or regional buzz at the time? Had you gone viral already? I wouldn't say viral. I just, you know, I'm just keep trying to gain and maintain and keep going up. That's the only way it's up, like, you feel me? So, like, I can't, you can't rush, you can't rush success or base your level of success off of someone else's success. You know what I'm saying? You get caught up in the next person, how you gonna end up crashing out. So, like, I feel like it was my talents, of course. Like, I got a nice little K 
catalog as well. So, you know, they probably felt like they had what I needed to get to the top of that next level. Did you pass on any other offers, any other recording contract yeah. before signing to Motown? Yeah, I passed on a couple. Care to share who? Shit, a couple. Uh, it was a couple. I had like five labels. Like. And when did you actually sign? What month, what year? Do you remember? 2021. Last month. Two months ago. I know it's only been two months, but what's that like being signed to Motown? It don't mean shit yet, you feel me? I just I gotta keep working, grinding, you feel me, to get to that next level, get where I'm trying to go. So it don't mean nothing if I ain't doing nothing, you get know what I'm saying? And it like it made me feel good because at the time, like, all the hip hop artists was QC. So for them to reach out to me and I won part of QC, it had to be doing something right because they didn't have any hip hop artists outside of QC at the time.